Storytelling. It can be a great way to engage your students and get them to problem solve and do the maths that you want them to do without them even realising. Let me share a story with you after the intro. Hi, my name's Tom Moore and when I was younger I went to this party and it was actually quite interesting because the mum that was running the party said we can have the lollies but only if we solve this problem. At the time I thought it was a little bit mean but now I think of it quite fondly. Now the challenge that she gave us was that every single one of these bags had a certain number of gummy bears in them. Now she said that any number of these bags could be used to make up every number from 1 to 63 and I'll show you what I mean. We're going to use our own cups with our own gummy bears to be able to solve this problem. For example, we might have had one gummy bear in the first cup, maybe two in the second cup, and then maybe three in the third, and let's just say we'll go four in the fourth, five one for good measure, maybe three in the fifth, and then two in the sixth. Now when it comes to this, well we know I could make up the number one, don't we? So that one's ticked off. In terms of this, well we had a two in the second cup, so I could make also the number two, but then also one plus two was equal to three. So that's all well and good. Oh, that's great too, because three was in the third cup, so I could have also made three using this, but I can now also make three plus four, one is four, and then three plus two is five, but I could also make three plus two plus one is six. And I need to use all of these cups to try and be able to tick off every single number from one to 63. Now that's it from me. I'm not going to tell you how many lollies were in each bag. In fact, I'll leave that up to you to figure out. But what I will tell you is that as you go through and do this, you may notice some patterns starting to occur. And when you notice patterns, you can then go on and develop algebraic rules. And of course, if we have an algebraic rule, we can then go on and graph it. In fact, we can call it a gummy graph. Now the key to this lesson is the storytelling, that is placing the students in a moment where they may have been before. For example, at a party where they're dealing with lollies. And by bringing that into it, and then also bringing a problem in there to solve, then they can actually put themselves in that moment and imagine themselves being there, making it contextually relevant to them. So, I hope you enjoyed this little story of mine. Let us know. If you have any stories that you use in your maths class to engage students, please share them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and comment and share this with other maths teachers that you know that might enjoy this lesson themselves. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. My name's Tom Moore. We'll see you next time.